Hawk Endurance ED 8x42 versus Hawk Endurance ED Marine 7x42. Which one should you go for and which is better? Well, they're both absolutely superb monoculars. We've sold loads of these, uh, the, the 8x42. And on the face of it, you would think, hang on, 7x42 is more expensive than the 8 times so it's a no-brainer isn't it the 8 times is better you would think but stick around and uh, I'll, I'll get on to one or two things that may just surprise you so first of all let's have a look at the accessories with the 8 times 42 you get a, a soft nylon case and with the 7 times 42 marine you get a more solid case with uh, a zipper. With the 8x42 you get a neck strap with quick release. With the 7 times, you get a, a wrist strap and also, just in case you have any mishaps while out near water, uh, a flotation strap and, and this is also a, a wrist strap as well. So, so that's the accessories that you get with either one. And so back onto the monoculars themselves, you'll, you'll notice there is a size difference. Uh, I think off the top of my head, uh, 320 grams versus I think 400 grams. So there is a slight uh, weight difference. And um, so just other things, little things to take into consideration. Well, both are tripod adaptable. But if we just zoom in a little bit, excuse me, you will notice the gap between the tripod thread and the uh, slit there for putting your, your wrist strap through or your neck strap is is wider on the seven times forty two, and that means that in in theory you should be able to put a uh, a larger tripod head. Just excuse me. There we go. Uh, a slightly larger uh, tripod plate, sorry, on on that monocular. That, that's probably not that important to you because the chances are you're going to be hand holding these. But that's just something. And uh, also, let's just have a quick look at the twist eye cups. And there is definitely a more solid feel to the marine. And so, with the the hard case, the flotation strap. The, uh, the better quality eye cup, which stays nicely in place, the 42 maybe doesn't as, as much, but don't look into that too much because in the real world that, that, you know, that's, that's not going to happen. I'm having to push down quite hard for that to move. But yeah, uh, be better uh, strap, better accessories, higher grade eye cup. And so it may be justifying that slightly higher price. And there is also a housing there for when, when available, uh, when it comes uh, with, with the compass built in. And also, uh, probably the most obvious thing, you've got a focuser next to the eyepiece here with the eight times, and the focus wheel down there uh, next to the objective lens. And when I first tried the marine model, I was constantly just looking for the focus up here like and then forgetting that it's down there and it's not better or worse it's just in a different place it's what you get used to it's like, so after using this one for a little while you'll go back to the eight times and you'll find that focuser may be a little bit awkward to use and so it's it's not which one is better than the other but both just as good just in different places and it's just something that you get used to with each one so what about the all-important optics? Well, straight away the Endurance 7x gives a slightly closer focus, about what 30 centimetres or so closer to the than the Endurance range, uh, the 8x42. Uh, maybe that's not important to you, maybe it is, and so that could be one advantage of the 7x. But before we get on to the, at the actual clarity of image, because you might think I'm about to start knocking the eight times, but believe me, it is an absolutely stunning 
uh, monocular optically. I have lost count of how many I have sold of these. They are absolutely incredible optics. Uh, they're, they're, they're both a similar field of view. Uh, I think one 7.4 and one is 7.5 degrees. The the seven times probably has a slightly narrower apparent field of view. Uh, both are, are very well baffled inside, so there's very little internal reflection. And so, what about getting down to the nitty gritty? Which one is optically better? Straight away, when you look through the seven times compared to the eight times, the optics are instantly brighter and sharper. Now that whether that's to do with the simply being a, a wider exit pupil or that lower magnification uh, but definitely a brighter sharper image with the seven times. Can you pick out any more detail at eight times? I would say not. Uh, you may dif differ, but uh, you, you can't. You, you can see the image is more close up with the eight times. But are you actually picking out any more any more details? The levels of chromatic aberration are lower with the endurance ED. Quite uh, not remarkably uh, different compared to the the eight times. But it is there. There is an advantage. There is less chromatic aberration. Uh, pin cushion distortion is similar, but another thing that impressed me with the seven times was the edge of field sharpness. It, it is a notch up compared to the eight times. And so summing up which one is better for you, well obviously if budget uh, is an issue to you and, and weight and maybe you just prefer the focuser being there, uh, then the eight times that that is the one to go for but uh, if you're happy to pay that extra and for that extra not only do you get better accessories uh, a brighter sharper view with slightly less chromatic aberration and improved edge of field sharpness then maybe if, if that and, and uh, you, you're okay with the focus at the opposite end then then the seven times but it's it's you know it's as per when people come to our optics weekends. I just say the bullet points between uh, regards each one, and the customer makes the end decision, not me. Uh, and uh, so both models are available to purchase in the link in the description below. And obviously, you are supporting our channel by doing that. And I know a number of you have done so already or visited our optics weekends. So I hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.